April 2023 and the thumbnails on your shorts page look terrible. YouTube is telling you you can't change the thumbnail on your short for now. Well, I disagree. If you'd rather have a shorts page that looks like this instead of this, I have the solution for you. Learn YouTube from Mr. Excel Podcast episode 2580A. Yes, you can create a custom thumbnail for YouTube shorts in 2023. I'll show you how. Here we are in YouTube studio in Windows and when we get to the thumbnail for a short, we get this message for now, you can't change the thumbnail on your short. And there's no information there about this. Now this is crazy. I started doing shorts back in September of 2022 and as late as the end of October, you could change the thumbnail on a short. But it seems like that functionality, even on the old videos, has been removed. A lot of people are pointing to this uh, tweet from Dan back in December of 2022 uh, about this message. And Team YouTube confirming on December 18th that they removed the option to select a custom net thumbnail on the studio desktop because they didn't work on the shorts shelf channel pages. So it was confusing. But if you upload shorts on Android, you can select a thumbnail that will show everywhere that people watch shorts. So it seems like if you want a thumbnail on new shorts, you're going to have to upload on Android. But what do they mean here about the thumbnails not working on the shorts shelf or channel pages? Take a look at my homepage where I have all these shelves here and all of the long form videos have the new style thumbnails that we've been converting to. But when I get down to the shelf for shorts, uh, it doesn't look good at all. They're just random thumbnails that were selected uh, from a frame. I didn't get to select them. YouTube chose them. And when I come here to the shorts tab, all 40 of the thumbnails are random. Even the ones where I had uploaded an actual thumbnail, they're not showing up. So this drives me a little bit crazy because I want my brand to be consistent even on the shorts. And it's a little frustrating for me because I use an iPhone, ah, but Mrs. Excel uses an Android. And I found an old Android device that I could still get Wi-Fi on. All right, so I removed most of her apps and left just Gmail, and YouTube, and I've got it working. Let's walk through the steps. All right, so here's one that I wanna convert. This is a recent short, and I wanna get it up there with the correct thumbnail. How to unhide a specific column in Excel. In Camtasia, file, new project from template, uh, new from template, and the whole point of that is just to get the project settings into 1080 by 1920. Now, you have to get your thumbnail as at least one frame in the video. So here's the thumbnail, drag that into the media bin, add the timeline at playhead, and by default, my Camtasia puts it in for five seconds. I've really just been using about eight frames. So right there, where we're at zero, 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 eight, and then I remove the rest. That's enough to get that frame embedded in the video. And then I pull in the original video, add that to the timeline. Make sure, of course, that these eight frames don't put me over 59 seconds and 29 frames. Now I have new branding at the end, so I remove the old like subscribe, and then for my library, add in the new like subscribe. See, in this one, it's only 26 seconds, so I clearly have some time at the end. So I've been putting the thumbnail at the end for a couple of seconds. That way, if it's in that view where it's looping, uh, that short little eight frame thumbnail will now look like a, you know, a two second thumbnail. Save as. Render. And while I'm waiting for that to render, I go to my Gmail, compose, and send a message to another email address that I have. And by now, this is finished rendering. And I drag that new video to the Gmail. This is how I'm going to get the video to the phone. Okay, so here we are on the Pixel. Go to Gmail, go to Sent Items. There's Android 29. Click the Download button. It's funny, there's no progress bar or anything. 
I always think that it didn't work, so I click it again, and it says that it's already been downloaded. So that's great. Come into YouTube. And right down there at the bottom, the big plus sign. And I want to create a short. But I'm not going to record a short. I'm going to use existing photo, so the icon in the lower left. And there's that video. A specific column in Excel. So here, C, click D. done. Does a little processing, and then the check mark in the lower right. Unhide a specific column. And then in the Excel. top right, so here, click C, next. Ah, <laughs> right there. You see that pencil icon in the top left? That's how we get the thumbnail there. Now, a funny story. Mary Ellen has about 12 videos on her channel and uh, I tried this first on her channel using her phone and she had the pencil icon and then I went and set everything up on this old phone signed in as me and I had no pencil icon and I kind of get this because in the past I've never uploaded from Android ever so I uploaded one video and then I reached out to creator support and said hey you know here's a screenshot of uh, Mary Ellen's phone she has the pencil icon here's a screenshot of my phone uh, I don't have the pencil icon and 24 hours later I had the pencil icon so really the big question is it that I had to reach out to creator support or was it just automatic 24 hours after uploading my first video either way once you get to the pencil icon click that pencil icon now this is a point where you can use that scrubber along the bottom to go choose the right frame for your thumbnail now in my case it's already on the right frame so all I have to do is click done However, let me tell you from experience, if you don't click the pencil and click done, then they're going to randomly choose any frame from the video, just like they would have done in YouTube Studio in Windows. And this whole trip over to the Android would be pointless. So make sure you click the pencil and click done. Type a caption. Okay, and then the thing that I notice here is that in this workflow on the Android, it doesn't have any of the questions that we have in windows when we're uploading so i need to get it into youtube studio but i don't want to make it live so under visibility i come here to schedule and just choose a date that's insanely far in the future and then come back and then upload shorts and what that's going to do for me is it's going to get the item with the thumbnail into youtube studio so then I can actually go edit it and schedule it for when I want it to appear. Okay, there we are, success. Uh, the correct thumbnail's there. And now I can go in and edit this and with an actual keyboard uh, and availability to all of the fields, although I still can't change the thumbnail on your short, um, I can update everything. Okay, so proper title, description, playlist, tags, added the subtitles and then change the schedule for today save oh, and success here i am on my shorts tab on hide specific column it looks great now hey look for me i have thousands of long form videos i've only done a few short videos 37 total um, with you know less than one percent of my views i just made the decision that i was going to do away with these 37 videos. I changed the status to unlisted in case anything was linking to them, uh, but then I replaced them with new shorts in order to get the thumbnail. That's probably not practical uh, for everybody if you have a lot of shorts and a lot of views. YouTube seems to indicate that at some point we'll be able to change the thumbnail on existing shorts. If you can wait, just wait for that. But for me, here in this big rebranding effort, I just wanted to make sure that these all got updated. So one more consideration, uh, the old video without the thumbnail is at HD 1080 by 19, 20, 30 frames per second. When you take that same video and upload it through Android, it's at SD 720 by 1280 at 15 frames per second. On a phone, it won't matter, but on a big screen TV, it will. Let's compare the two. Oh no, when Excel shows the formula, not the result, there are two things that can happen. Right here, I'm going to do all equals. That should put a sum function in there. But instead of giving me the answer, it gives me the formula. Look up here on the Home tab. It was formatted as text. You have to change it to general. 
but that doesn't fix it. Yeah, yeah, when I look at it here on this Windows laptop, not a big screen TV, uh, they're close enough. All right, if you've watched this far, you obviously care about these thumbnails on shorts. Here's a great video from January 10th with Connor and in Creator Insider. At 3.43, we're working on bringing this functionality to iOS, and then a few seconds later, we're working on improving the experience. But looking at the comments, the Creator Insider answered a lot of these comments. Uh, they say, mobile initially, iOS coming soon, we'll let you know if the plans change. Someone said desktop, mobile initially, let you know if the plans change. Uh, someone pointed out that it had been on desktop, it was removed, and they said, well, yeah, that's because it wasn't showing up on the shelf. As far as customizing later, they do say stay tuned for updates. So that makes it sound like maybe, or choose a different frame after it's been uploaded, that would be really good. Uh, someone said went on desktop, mobile initially, let you know if plans change. And then finally, uh, TDIN, sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that, Sounds like it's not even the pipeline yet. That's correct. The priority is editing on mobile, but we'll pass the feedback on to the team. So right there, that tells me that there's no plans in the near term to bring this to desktop, which is unfortunate because uploading from Android and presumably from iOS is going to give us a uh, SD video instead of an HD video. Wow, I'm with a lot of these people who are commenting who have created our shorts on desktop and would really like high def and the ability to, to do a thumbnail. If you like these videos, please down below, like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Feel free to post any questions or comments down in the comments below.